Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a full case break of 2019 Panini Chronicles football. 12 box, pick your team number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. A very big thank you to all of these lovely people here for getting, thank you for getting to the action. Full case from a fresh case, Tuesday the 26th. Sorry, the 26th. I can't believe that. All right. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm interested in watching this show on the Food Network, you guys. I was watching Chopped, which is good. Uh, big fan of Chopped. Supermarket Stakeout. Not thrilled with Supermarket Stakeout. Thrilled with the feud. There it is. There's Chronicles right there. Good luck. So there's five on this, or six on that side, six on this side. Old Chronicles football. Two autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average. See, Harvey suit is sharp today. No, America says it's terrible. Terrible game. Just off-brand family feud. All right, Richard, what's going on? You need a M Mon David Montgomery. Rick T needs a David Montgomery Gala rookie. All right. Challenge accepted. All right. So we're gonna lead off with an Andy Isabella silhouette jersey and autograph. Nice Cardinals. Josh picked up the Cardinal straight up. In fact, this entire break sold out straight up. All right, obviously, I think all cards ship, actually. Yeah, all cards ship. So if I miss something, don't worry, because it's all being sent out. Like that Kyler Murray, like that Josh Jacobs. I'll try to separate as many of those numbered cards as possible, too. And we'll top load all those hits a little bit later. There's Darius Slayton autograph. Ryan Zeller, Giants. AJ Brown relic to ninety nine. Elway to one ninety nine. Cards are kind of slippery here too. So there's David Montgomery Chronicles edition. Looking for Gala edition. We got Adrian Peterson, 33 out of 199. Chance with the Redskins. Drew Locke to 99. Nick Bosa, Crown Royale die cut to 199. I think my favorite so far in this Chronicles is the Luminance card. 
But with their pro uniform and that chrome design, I really dig that. <laughs> Is the chair practicing social distancing? Yes. There's David Tyree. Nice. 18 out of 99. That SIG Series design. Hmm. I was hoping for a better autograph from David Tyree, but... Jarrett Stidham autograph. Nice. Forty seven out of ninety-nine. Jarrett Stidham. Pa uh, Patriots. Patriots. Ron with that one. There you go, Ron. Next box. Yeah, David Tyree is still a superhero, a Super Bowl hero. Brian Zeller is right, so we'll have to excuse him for that autograph. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Nick is so pissed about David Tyree's autograph. There's Devin Singletary to 25. Nick's like, in, I don't know if you heard Nick in the background, but he's just like, you're a freaking Super Bowl hero. Imagine if you came up to, if like some kid came up to him asking for his autograph and he just signs a DT. How bummed you'd be. It's like, Mr. Tyree, what an, what an incredible helmet catch you made in that Super Bowl. I'm a Giants fan. That changed my life. You know? I, I, was, I was 10 years old when that happened and then that, that made me a, that Russell Wilson goes to the Seahawks. Dan with that one. Made me a Giants fan for life. You know, that really got me into football. Can you please sign this, uh, this autograph football? It's like, yeah, sure. DT. There's Hunter Renfro. Ark with the Raiders, my Raiders. DT. No, they already did all the variations of cow poop, Savannah. Come on. It's up there? Wow. Oh, well, my apologies to her. Cow poke. Number one answer. Cowboy. Ah, oh, this. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. We got Brett Marr, one, two, three out of one ninety nine for the boys. Renee with the Cowboys. Do not take 
That's to 199 on that one. Mikkel Harmon. Jersey and autograph. Silhouette jersey. Auto. That's to 99 for the Chiefs. Ryan Zeller said last night all you you have to all you have to do is ask. Daniel Jones autograph. Yeah, sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the gets the oil or the grease as impact saying. Singletary. Brandon Cooks to ninety nine? No, to forty nine. Thirty five out of forty nine. Rams edition going to Jeffrey Punt. David Montgomery to 49. Die cut Hunter Renfro. Nick Bosa to 199. I like, these, I like these studio cars for some reason too. All right. Adam Kelly was watching the Mosaic Fast Break Figure Team 1. Which LeBron? The purple LeBron? Out of 50? Yeah, they're going, they're, they're going for a lot. The LeBrons are going for a crazy amount. I mean, the purple LeBron, nice. I know it's 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 a little it's a little baffling to me too. I mean, if it's rookie LeBron, that's one thing. Remember, folks, we are booked for the night, so um, there's the break schedule right there. We are booked for the night, but Jason Jaspi is still working, um, doing personals. I don't think he's too backed up, so go go work with him. Jersey and autograph, JJ Arthiga Whiteside. Timeless Treasures design going to the Eagles. That'll be for Serenity. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think we're arguing LeBron's talent impact, but I think we're just saying, you know, I think hobby wise, he's been in the league for a little bit. A lot of people must have his cards, right? But I guess not. Mark Duper. He's your Super Bowl signature. Dolphins, Corey. Oh, we'll, we'll enjoy this run while it lasts, at least on the single card market. We'll enjoy it while it lasts. I mean, I think everyone, everyone is realistic, to, realistic enough to understand that there will be an inevitable dip. But that's that's where we separate the sharps from the squares, you know what I mean? It's like who? It's like it's all about keeping the right ones, selling the right ones. Or not panic selling when there is a dip. Could go right back up again too. All right, Hebner, what's going on? Yeah, we've been doing well. The crew has been keeping us busy since the pandemic. We've been close to the public, I'm afraid, but, but everyone's been able to find us online, which has been great. The team is healthy. We're happy, busy. So we're very fortunate. Now, a lot of people don't have jobs, so we're very fortunate we got this going on. Thanks, Impact. We try. We do our best. Yeah, that's right, Adam Kelly. Yeah, how fast can PSA get it to you graded? Well, if money's not an object, they can get that back to you pretty quickly. All right, there's AJ Brown. It's 99. 
Jalen Smith, two color dual relic to one ninety nine. That'll be for Dallas, Renee. Calvin Johnson. It's number two. Good answer. Good answer. Harrison Butker. 26 out of 75. Boom. They got it. Chiefs. David Frick with the Chiefs. That's not a 10. Tony Pollard. Ooh, yeah. You signed up for the stadium tour, the Raiders stadium tour? I know. I, I definitely have to. Hopefully, I'm really hoping. There's a 7 out of 8. Gala, Meikle, Hardman. Those are nice. That goes to David Frick and the Chiefs. Just a few off a train whistle. Still cool, though. Kyler Murray. Autograph. Triple relic and auto. Nice. Three out of 25. And that momentum design for Josh. Have a top loader handy for this one, maybe? All right, nice. Kyler Murray. Yeah, I can't wait for that stadium tour. It's going to be pretty awesome. And hopefully they'll have fans this fall so I can go see a game. Do you think the Raiders stadium will have 50% Raiders fans or less? More. I think it I think it'll be I think it'll be 75% Raiders fans, 80% Raiders fans. There's uh my sister lives in Vegas and over the last couple years uh, every time I visit her, there's more and more cars with Raiders bumper stickers on them. Every other mall has like a Raiders team shop that's always filled with people. Um, Raiders still have a huge fan base here in L.A. So now they're even closer to, Raiders even closer to L.A. than they were in Oakland. You know, and more of a, more of a tourist destination. Uh, the stadium is named after Allegiant, an airline. Right, an airline company that has specific flights direct from Oakland to Las Vegas for uh, for game days. I think there's discounts too. You can buy like travel packages and stuff that Allegiant Air will have. And so they're gonna be they're gonna be hauling everybody from Oakland all the way over there. And I don't think the out of fifty, and I don't think the the fans are as. I think the Raiders fans would all argue that it was never the Raiders never left Oakland the first time and left LA like they don't think it's the team's fault right as opposed to like Stan like Cronky right who like strong-armed his way out there's Easton Stick to 25 so I don't think there's bad blood in that sort of sense and it's happened before you know Oakland to LA LA back to Oakland so I think I think fans in California are kind of used to it. And they stayed in state, you know. And Vegas is close enough to California. I mean, it's right, it's right on the border, so. I, I don't think there's been a lot of fan loss at that point. Like, they didn't lose a lot of fans. And I want to say, I mean, I don't think the Raiders are quite like the, the Steelers, but I think their fans travel pretty well in general. 49. So I think the fans have always understood that the LA wasn't going to build them a stadium or help build them a stadium. Same situation with Oakland, you know, and they got they got better financing opportunities in Las Vegas, and they're still close to their California market. So I think it kind of worked out. I don't think I don't think fans are like saying it's not like San Diego, right? Where a lot of San Diego fans who are living in San Diego are like f the Chargers, you know, so. I think the circumstances are a little bit different. But for you and the Colts, Adam Kelly, yeah, if you're going to travel to watch a Colts game, 
Gotta go to Vegas. Casey still gonna beat them wherever it is? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not in Vegas. You know, for years, I thought it was, when my sister first moved there ages ago, I thought it was more of a tourist city too, but when I moved her in to her place, I'll be honest with you, how surprised I was at how suburban Las Vegas is. From the Strip, if you go one or two miles east or west, it's all suburban. You know, there's, there's like tree-lined streets, elementary schools and churches and strip malls with, you know, like... The, like it doesn't even seem like Las Vegas. But in terms of like the population there, it is it is transient, but I, f I, f I feel like of the outer towners, a lot of them have to be from like Arizona and California. You know what I mean? I, I feel like most people are from Arizona and California. And if you're from California, chances are probably going to be a Raiders fan. All right, Von Miller. Yeah, Golden Knights, Vegas embrace Golden. I mean, listen and think about it. What what brings a transient population together? Professional sports team. So if there's one thing that can make a bunch of transient Vegas Vegas in Las Vegans and turn them into actual Las Vegans, it would be uh, it would be a professional sport. And as Mike Somich is pointing out, you know, Golden Knights. You know, my, my sister only watched like football and baseball and basketball, right? Never, didn't even touch hockey until the Golden Knights came into town. And now, now she's pretty fired up about like watching games on TV and stuff. And she was never, she was never a hockey kid. We never watched a lot of hockey when we were growing up. It was a lot of basketball, baseball, and football. Devin Singletary die cut to 99. That's right, Mike Samich. Imagine the. Did you move that keyboard that was there? Yeah, it's in the cabinet over there. You know, Mike Samich, I, I know of some companies here in L.A., it's inside the thing, inside the battery. I got it, I got it. I know some companies, Mike Samich, that have, uh, that have suites, Stable Center, for Lakers games. So you can bet your bottom dollar. Have you ever been invited to a suite? I haven't, I haven't. No, I, I don't know anyone who works for the companies like that. I've never gotten invited. That would, it would invite us, but... One day, someday we'll. That'd be cool if you're related to. I bet they would invite you a lot. I'll bet. I, I'll bet too. Like if your brother worked for a company like that, Nick. Yeah, brother or sister or someone you know, like, who's really close to you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that person would certainly, certainly do, invite us to, to suites, in uh, for Lakers games. You know what I mean? So she doesn't watch that much hockey, will really. But yeah, those casinos will be buy will buy boxes. Oh, Mike Somich is saying maybe we bought something from this particular company. I see. Just the family connection does not help. Just an old oh maybe if I was friends with this person for maybe fifteen years that doesn't help either. Apparently. Hmm. Or blood relation. I guess 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 doesn't doesn't matter. How much would well, I don't even know what they, we would buy. I, I don't, don't know. know. Just a bunch of what's... blade servers to store all of our gigabytes of video. Why? I don't know why we would archive any of our videos. They're all on YouTube. I don't know. All right, there's Chase Winovich. And I guess we have to buy something from them. Probably have to buy a lot of things, too. From this particular company. That shall not be named. All right, there's Jarrett Stidham. Wow, silhouette autograph, nice colors in that that shield design there. 
But yeah, anyway, the, uh, Mike Samich brings up a good point, though. All those casinos will have all those luxury boxes booked up. That's huge revenue there. I think Raider, Raider fans are going to show up strong in those stadiums as well. There's a one out of six Will Greer. So I, I, I know a lot of people in Vegas are very interested in uh, professional football arriving there. Sports books love it. They're gonna get Raider. The Raiders are already a, a a very big public team anyway for you sports betters out there. Can you imagine how public they're gonna be when they're the hometown team? There's Leighton Van Der Esch to 49. Watch those Vegas lines this year. <laughs> also, I, I don't know how much I think hockey is a little different, but maybe not a little different. I don't know. But remember, the first Golden Knight season. If you bet. If you bet like uh, Golden Knights money line at home all season long, you've had a very tidy profit because they were winning a lot of home games. And some people call it Vegas flu, maybe. Could be a Vegas flu factor that can happen. I don't know. When when do NFL teams usually fly into a to a city? F Friday night. To seventy five, AJ Brown. No, Matt McCray, he's live right now. He's ripping something right now. I can hear him right now. Three out of ten, Alejandro Villanueva. Dual relic for the Steelers. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. Yeah, sportsbook exposure to the Golden Knights Stanley Cup win year was huge. I mean, they lost a ton of money on everything. All, all the futures, all the home games. You know, divisional win bets, win totals, divisional win, conference win, Stanley Cup appearance, everything. <laughs> Kareem Hunt, 6 out of 10. But I don't know, how much of that Vegas flu effect will, how much of that will, will affect uh, the Las Vegas Raiders? It remains to be seen. Will the books adjust for that after seeing what happened with the Golden Knights? Maybe they will. Maybe, maybe uh, point spreads will be baked in to factor in Vegas flu already. Michael Hardman Jr. die cut autograph. That'll be for David Frick and the Chiefs. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, remember, I, I know Select only has two left, but check, take a look at the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. We probably won't be able to do that break until 2 a.m. L.A. time, 5 a.m. East Coast time. So we are, we are booked up all the way up until then. And there's a good chance that Nick Jaspi may not even do that tonight because I know that Prism Retail sold out too. Oh, that Crown Rail sold out, that is. So, yeah, chances are that select baseball is most likely 
uh, tomorrow when we go live, uh, 1 o'clock Pacific. Eighty-five out of ninety-nine. Greg Olson, two-color dual relic. Uh, Panthers. Greg Spicer with that one. Donovan McNabb, ninety-nine. We got Easton Stick to one ninety-nine. Kenny Moore for the blue horseshoes. That'll be. To 199 for the for the Colts, Charles Teal. Why do you feel bad for a packed schedule? Impact. Better than the other way around. At least I'm not fortunate that I'm not digging ditches. I at least have a job. A lot of people don't. Jersey and Otto, Gardner Minshew, 32 out of 99. Cameron on the board with the Jags. Last box, Chronicles, pick your team at 10. There we go. Good luck, everybody. Benny Snell Jr. die cut off to 99. <laughs> Right. Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown for the Purple Birds. Jeff Gordon with the Ravens. One out of six. Nice low number on that. Jeff Gordon retired from auto racing, spending a little time with Jazz Fees. Thank you, sir. Wow. Something other farm animals make fun of about a pig, that they're going to get eaten. I feel like they're all going to get eaten. Most of them. Maybe not a milking cow. That's to 99. Oh, pig ears? No, oh, poor pig. Josh Jacobs to 199. What's that last answer then? No hair or wiry hair. Making fun of a pig's hair. Tony Gonzalez for the Chiefs. David Frick with that one. Here is a quick little recap, ladies and gentlemen. Gardner Minshew was nice. Chase Winovich was cool. Excellent Jarrett Stidham silhouette patch auto. That's sharp. Beast and stick colors look good. Nice. Kyler Murray, triple relic and autograph. The gala was the Meikle Hardman, Mark Duper, Arthiga Whiteside, Meikle Hardman, Brett Mayer, Hunter Renfro, David Tyree, just going DT on that. Oh, we had a second Stidham too. All right, nice. Devin Singletary, AJ Brown, Darius Slayton, and we started off with Kyler's teammate. Andy Isabella. There you go. Pick your team 10 in the books. That was 2019 Panini Chronicles football. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Uh, Pre-order 2020 Contenders Draft Picks football on Jaspi's Case Breaks Night right now. 
and we'll be breaking that later this week. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.